So number five then from paper one from the multiple choice in the 2015 old hire. We've got this recurrence relation. It gives you U5 and it asks you for U3. That's a bit nasty, so you're going to have to work backwards. So we're going to have to say you'd have got U5 from U4. So that means that 0.2 of U4 plus 9 gave you that 11. So I'll have to rearrange that, undo it. Take away 9 makes that 2. Divide by 0 0.2, do 10 times the top, 10 times the bottom, 20 over 2 is 10. So now I've got U4 is 10. How would I have got U4? Other than 0.2 times U3. And that would have given me the 10. So that means that U3 will be, take the 9 across and subtract it, that's a 1. Divide it by 0 0.2, well multiply the top and the bottom by 10, that'll be 10 over 2, which is 5. So finally, we get the answer C. Number six, the points P, Q and R are collinear. Well, let's just draw a line here. P, Q and R. Calculate the ratio in which Q divides P, R. So I want the ratio of these two bits. Now it tells me Q, R, so it tells me this part here. This part is two, negative four, six. So if I knew P, Q, I could compare them. So what's PQ? We can just do it by inspecting the moves. Negative 1 up to 2 would be a 3. 6 to 0 would be a back 6. And 4 to 13 would be a 9. So that part is 3, negative 6, 9. And you can see the ratios have to be the same for them all. The ratio is 3 to 2 in all of them. So the ratio is 3 bits to 2 bits. They're all 3 to 2. So where's 3 to 2? The ratio is 3 to 2. And 3 to 2 is B. Number seven, what's this integral then? Well, you can't integrate it the way it is. Don't try and do the brackets separately. Only to multiply out that you get the difference of two squares. That's x squared minus four squared. That's x squared minus 16 that comes to. So integrate, add one to the power, divide by that power. That goes back up to the linear term and there might have been an unknown constant. So. There's this one here, I'm looking for a third of x cubed minus 16x plus c, that is c. Number 8. A straight line makes an angle of 60 with the x-axis. What's the gradient of this line? No, it should be straightforward. It doesn't matter where it actually cuts the x-axis, so just because it's behind the origin doesn't make it a negative gradient. That gradient's still positive. The gradient's still given by the tangent of the angle. What's the tan of 60? If you don't remember, you do your 1, 2, root 3 triangle. That's the 60, that's the 30. Tangent's opposite over adjacent. Opposite the 60 is root 3. Root 3 over 1, which is root 3. And root 3 is D.